guilty of first degree murder. That's the unexpected and shocking plea deal accepted by Jonathan Robinson, the so-called Facebook life killer. He took that deal this afternoon in a Caddo Parish courtroom. While he no longer faces the death penalty for shooting and killing Renita Williams, a mother of three young children, Robinson will spend the rest of his life in prison. KSLA Chief Investigative Reporter Stacy Cameron was in court this afternoon, and Stacy, it was an emotional day for the victim's family, especially Renita Williams' mother. Dominique, it absolutely was, and right after Robinson pleaded guilty to one count of first-degree murder and seven counts of attempted murder of a police officer, he was immediately sentenced, and that's when Renita Williams, Anita's mother, began to, or Anita Williams began to cry deeply. You see, it was nine months ago that Robinson was shot and killed Renita, and he streamed that murder of his ex-girlfriend live on Facebook. Then during an hours-long standoff with police, he turned his gun and fired on Shreveport police officers, injuring one and facing the death penalty. Robinson didn't get a lawyer certified to defend a death penalty case until November. And since that time, Cattle Parish District Attorney James Stewart has been meeting with the Williams family, who said they wanted closure. So earlier this week, Stewart offered Robinson a plea deal, life in prison, no parole, no probation, no suspension of his sentence, and he'll serve hard labor plus another 100 years after pleading guilty to attempting to murder those seven police officers. Robinson actually tried apologizing to Renita's mom, Anita, in court after getting sentenced. This wasn't the first time you apologized to me. It's about the third time with letters and writing. I just never let no one know what was going on with me. And I, I, I forgive him. I forgive him. But I never will forget. He really wanted to plead guilty, but he's going to plead guilty to what I wanted him to plead guilty to. And he was going to have to accept the time that was going to be offered, and there was not going to be any negotiation. Uh, either he was going to plead now, or we would not entertain any other plea offers in the future. And entering that plea deal, Robinson waives all rights to appeal. He will be immediately transferred to the State Department of Corrections. Anita Williams says today, after 10 months of walking a long road of pain and stress, her family can finally begin healing. And now we also know that he'll be transferred likely to Angola down state. He's still housed for the time being in the Cattle Correctional Facility here. Doug, Dom, thank you.